Welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I thought I'll try and do some more discussion style tutorials with you or I'll just show you different things that I think are really cool. But um, as you know, you know, until now I've pretty much been doing all my recordings on Amplitude and Garage Band and getting pretty cool tones for my covers and things, but um, I've just recently found a new VST AU plugin called uh, Positive Grids BIOS software and it's absolutely amazing. I can't, I've only had it a few days and I'm still sort of getting the hang of it, but I need to share it with you because it's so cool. Um, and I've just recently upgraded to the new uh, ProLogic 10 instead of the GarageBand 2. I need to start making my productions a little bit better, I think. But um, anyway, what I thought I'd do this. Uh, positive grids bias it's it's a similar has similar features to amplitude but it is so much better it's uh, the realism and, and guitar tones you can capture is amazing and what's more what's so fascinating about it is that you can actually have you can record a, your live amps or or even an mp3 track like like the lamb of god producers edition or something like that where you might have a certain guitar track and you can import or use that track and, uh, and amp match your tone to that exact track through this software and it's amazing, it does a beautiful job and um, I've done some pre-recordings here on, on the um, ProLogic and we'll just go through an A and B and I'll show you how a tone match on Positive Grids Bias but um, thanks for tuning in, um, okay. I've got a bit of a demonstration song here. This I'll mute my guitar tracks, but this essentially is Lamb of God's Requiem off the uh, Producers Edition, and I've just got the guitar left, guitar right, and the drums. So, so you get the idea of that. What I'm going to do using this new BIOS software, I'll bring my guitar tracks, and these are ones I've just recorded my own guitar over the top of that, but um. This essentially is the bias window. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's got the standard the standard fascia panel where you can go ahead and, and change all your toll X's and grill, grill cloths and things to, to customize your own amp here. But this is just the front, you know, the nitty gritty of this amp when you get into it. Um, you know, there's so much variation on what you can change not that Amplitude was bad, I was overwhelmed when I first got Amplitude with how much I could change, but this is unbelievable. You can you can slide EQs into the mix if you want. I'll get rid of that. Um, you've got tone stacks, power amps, still swapping out valves and everything, you know. Um, transformers, you can change your transformers for different, like it's, it's unbelievable. Um, your cabinet, the same sort of deal, you can move your microphones around and, and swap out different mics. Um, but the most amazing feature of this is the amp matching capability. What I'll just do right now is uh, I'll reset see these. Oh, these are your windows too with your um, presets and things that are, are fantastic. And you, all these, are there's a, a tone cloud that you can log on to and uh, download the latest presets and anyone that's amp matched their own cabinets and things like the variation of tones here is amazing. I've done my, I've done a few of my, of my own amps around the house and things, but uh, we'll go to the Mark IV here and uh, I'll just turn it down a little bit. All right, so I learned this is what my, this the standard recording was that I just did. I did a left and a right channel. Okay, you can hear that actually sounds pretty close to Lamb of God. I would have been happy with that, but you can get closer, so why not? Um, what I'll just do, just to start with, I'll um, This now is the actual guitar left and right track for and now back to mine, you mute that one, or actually. 
So they're pretty close, but we can actually match it perfectly. So what I'll do is I'll bring up the bias window. And all you've got to do is bring down this amp match here. And click on it. Righto, as you can see, what it requires is you, you get the source material. So this is the track right above that it's going to be the source window. So if I just let that play and hit sample. Okay, so let's sample that. Um, and all I do now is I grab the actual, I might as well grab the, the same right hand track for Lamb of God. You can do, you know, do this differently and um, like synchronize the buses and things up to track one. But for the ease of this, I'll just grab that one track, drag it up to the same line. And there's the Requiem guitar track. We'll put, whoops. Put that on there. We'll hit the target button. Just turn up. Just test how. Okay, so that's what I hear. Now we just let it play again. I hit sample and we'll catch it. Okay, so that's done. Um, I might just go and drag that track back to where it belongs. Okay, and now I just hit match. The third, you can see right here on the two, the two lines, it's got my original one and the second track. As soon as I turn that on, I actually will just let it play first. I'll get rid of that one. And right there, if we A and B that with the actual track, we'll use the same track. And let's just see how close it is. Well, as you can see, I took that back and forth, and uh, the sound was pretty amazing, actually. So, um, if we use that same setting there, we'll just save that. I'll uh, actually, I'll we'll just turn it up a little bit. After you do it, you can you can slightly tweak the window here, but I'll just turn that up a little bit. We'll save that. We'll save it as uh, Mark for Lamb of God. Okay, so. Uh, what I've done, I've just gone and, and imported those same presets into the BIOS here. Uh, we've set up the same presets that we've just made up. The Mark IV Lamb of God tone we've just created. And I've dragged that into both my left and right channels that I've pre-recorded on the guitar. And so, if I just let it play... <laughs> Okay, we'll compare those, both of those to the original recording tracks. That sounds pretty close. I don't know about you, but I think that's absolutely amazing that you can actually do that. Not only can you record from your guitar amp, but uh, you can you can drag tracks like this and make 
exact presets. I might. I find that hard to pick those two differences there. Like it's very close. Um, I suggest it's a, it sound, if I was just to uh, capture that as the guitars left and right off this channel here, um, you, you get the stereo channel. It doesn't sound as good. It sounds like it's been like like it's coming through a metal pipe or that. It, if you can, even if you can go to the if you have a stereo channel or the guitar tone that you like, as you're as you're getting a sample of it, just just um, mix out one channel so you're only getting a mono signal and you'll uh, end up with a fantastic results like this is amazing so um anyway i had to had to share it with someone and uh hope you enjoyed the the video take care